So welcome back to my channel again. Yes, this time around I'm doing another haunted location and you got it right. I'm in Changi Airport and you're probably wondering is really Changi haunted? Well, you never get to know the stories of every location until you find out from the locals. So I found out from the locals and now I'm on a layover flight going to Hong Kong and I'm sleeping over the night in Changi Airport. So I stick around with me here because I'm going to cover two of the most famous haunted location in Changi Airport. And in that, I want to say thank you so much for those of you who've been tuning in to my last haunted location, which is 7 MRT haunted location. And I know you guys been asking for me to translate, but this time around, I will do it in full English so you all will understand. Stick around. Welcome to my haunted locations <laughs> moment. So uh, this time is new. I think it has been a long time since I haven't made uh, a haunting locations like purely me inside the moment and going around to the location. I think the last time uh, I want to say th I want to say thank you so much for those of you uh, who actually went to see the seven uh, M what is it seven haunted MRT station in Singapore. I know I got a lot of hits and a lot of views there uh, in, in that seven haunted MRT stations. Now I really had fun doing it. Now this time around it's going to be different. Changi Airport and got a. And I'll let you know what, what the haunted locations are in, in Changi. So here it is. Um, gotta tell you, this. It, you know Changi, right? Changi Airport. It's a very nice hotel, uh, not hotel, but it's a very nice airport. It's a very big airport, and in fact, it's one of the most famous airport in around the world. I gotta tell you, and it's not only famous, but best airport made out of any other airport in the world. I mean, this beats nothing to it, let me tell you. And Changi is really growing and growing and extending very, very fast. But beyond that, you know, I always say, right, this type of stories actually, uh, no one really knows unless you really ask the locals, you ask the people that works here and they're working here so long. So here's what I got about the story. Two locations that's very haunted in Changi Airport. I was talking to, uh, I was talking to one of the security guard, number one, number two, I was talking to one of their uncle down in the food court and you know we had a chit chat because I had a layover flight going to Hong Kong so might as well I'm doing that and a chit chat now the first location that's very famous here is the bathroom above the Burger King stall I, I don't know uh, how many Burger King store there is in Changi Airport but all I know is that the Burger King that is on the second floor there's only one which is the one right uh, near the Louis Vuitton uh, shop. Now there's a Burger King there, the one on the second floor. There's also a food court, there's also a mini mart there. Now in between that Burger King and then mini mart, there's a toilet. And if you go to that second floor, there's not only one toilet, but there's actually two toilets. But you gotta get the toilet right. The toilet that is in between Burger King and then the mini mart in between and that toilet and I think because the reason why if they, if you're staying in Changi if you're staying over in Changi might as well you sleep where you sleep there where, where everyone is sleeping and it's got a sofa I got a little electric plug so everyone uses that area just to sleep and it's not many people going to that area so it's very um, quiet and so I'm gonna tell you the reason why they say it's haunted and uh, that middle part so there was once a story there was I thought someone was walking beside me. There's this one this story. There was one guy uh, who worked working the night shift, and he wanted to pee. And uh, nevertheless, he went to the that's it to the toilet between the Burger King and then between the, um, the mini mart. So he went in without without uh, you know having a second thought because come on, an airport that is so well known, an airport that is so well clean, all maintained, everything else. You wouldn't think of this stuff. So he came in, he unzipped his pants, then he started peeing. But there's only three cubicles, so there's another key, key point. So you better make sure you know that there's only three cubicles inside that toilet. There's only three, right, middle, and left. 
And if you know this cubicle, uh, this type of cubicle in Changi Airport is always the light blue color. So he went in, he unzipped his pants, then he started peeing. He realized that one of the cubicle, the door started slamming open and shut, open and shut, open and shut, open and shut, and it makes it, it's making that sound. And it becomes a rhythm. And then he realized himself that it could be a little kid because you know airport is very crowded with family and little kids and all that so and uh, obviously who, who who opens the door and closes the door uh, would be a little kid actually so he thought there was a little kid playing in the cubicle and nevertheless he finished peeing he zipped his pants up and then before he washed his hands he went over to one of the cubicle who, who, who opened and shut open and shut and then he really opened the cubicle like slowly when he opened the cubicle slowly he didn't see anyone inside the cubicle, so he was very surprised. So he asked himself, "What? What's going on?" So he waited and waited and waited inside the uh, uh, that bathroom, but the door never shut and closed again. And then no one came out from that bathroom. So he was really in shock, and um, as you know, his whole body hair started to stand up. And then when he came out back home, he decided to tell the story to his family. And it turned out that his, I think his grandfather or great-grandfather used to work in Changi Airport also. And it turned out that uh, the story is this, there, there used to be a little kid who died in that toilet. The little kid is very, uh, what is it, he teases a lot, he likes to uh, make fun of people and he likes to tease people who go to, to, to the toilet. That's what they say, so in between, me, me, uh, not make the between Burger King and then in between the little uh, mini shop there should be a toilet so if any one of you coming here make sure you drop by into the toilet next to Burger King in Changi Airport you know that's the first one so let's go for a walk and take a whole break and I will show you some fun fact about Changi Airport in between Yes, I'm supposed to have two haunted locations and I really shot the second one and I really wanted to tell you So I really want to put it in this video But guess what? I went to render my video and the clip wasn't there and I was pretty sure that I pressed record I went there about three o'clock in the morning and I went to this place three o'clock in the morning And that's what really happened. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in make sure you subscribe to my channel and punch that like button if you get this like button into a uh, 500 likes i'll do another haunted location for you guys really really soon take care booyah thank you so much for stumbling into my youtube channel appreciate it that you watch my videos all the way until now and if you haven't already please do make sure you punch that like button at the bottom and also press that share button at the same time if you can you like any of the videos like this also please do make sure you subscribe to my channel and it's just right there with the red button in that thank you so much i will see you in the next moment to come You're still here, my social media platform. If you wanna follow me, I forgot.